Idineklara na ng lokal na pamahalaan ng Maynila na persona non grata ang grupo ng panday sining dahil sa vandalism. Good day and welcome to Pros and Cons, where we ask the hard questions and you decide which side of the truth you would choose to believe. Art is an important part of human culture and tradition. It beautifies our surroundings, provokes a thought and creativity, and imparts a message. The same can be said of protest art, artistic endeavors made to challenge the status quo and voice out opposition to the powers that be. When supposedly creative actions cause destruction and tamper with the beauty and cleanliness of a locality, the law defines this as vandalism. Yet, the definition of protest art has crossed the line between destroying order and creative opposition. Today in Pros and Cons, we raise the question, what can be considered as art? What lines can artistic work cross in protesting against authorities? With these in mind, can the artworks, scribblings, and spray-painted messages drawn in public to slam the government be called protest art? We have heard of the recent spray painting of anti-government slogans at the Lagos Nilad underpass in Manila and how sides were taken on whether these would be called protest art or vandalism. Let's take a step back and for the sake of understanding our own perspective of our arts and culture, look at the broader picture of what defines protest art. So today, ladies and gentlemen, our kababayans, uh, kasama po natin sa ating uh, programa, ang mga taong magbibigay liwanag dito sa issue na ito. Ito ba'y uh, palagang forma ng sining? O ito'y sinisining-siningan lang nila tayo? No? O alibay, sabihin natin. So to my left, simulan na po natin uh, si Police Major Brits E. Estadilla. Si uh, Major Brits po ang uh, officer in charge ng Regional Public Information Office ng National Capital Region Police Office. Yes, sir. All right. So, ma'am, how uh, matagal na po ba kayo dyan? So, so bago um, pa lang din, no? Bago pa lang po. One month pa lang po. One month pa lang. Yes, Sino bang pinalta mo dyan dati? Eh? Si... Um, si Major Coden, sir. Okay. So, what keeps you busy now doon sa iyong bagong office? No? Um, media po. Media? <laughs> oh ayan. Media. Mar mar maraming... Maraming kwento ako naririnig ngayon dyan. Eh. Very exciting niya tayong <laughs> pag-upo ni, ano, ni uh, General Sinas dyan. Uh, doon sa ano natin, doon sa mga painting-painting na yan, mga art-art na yan, ilan yes, yung sir. nakulong na? Um, na nakulong or nakasuhan? Sorry. Nakasuhan, sir, but hmm. will be out on bail ngayong araw. Ah. Tatlo po, sir. Tatlo. Ah, I see, I see. Kasi yung right. isa po is um, bata pa. Bata pa. Yes, okay, sir. so minor? Yes, sir. All right, all right. So, kasama po din natin dito sa uh, ating programa ay uh, isang travel and culture blogger si uh, Mr. Glenn Martinez. Glenn, welcome to the show. Ano ba yung ano ba yung ano? Ano ba yung uh, ano to? Travel and culture blogger. Yeah, travel and culture blogger bali ako po ay more of an observer and mm. everything na na-observe ko po sa paglalakad ko sa Manila, paglalakad mm. ko sa mga places, sinusulat ko po siya sa blog, sinusulat sinusulat sa document blog ko. So it's like a personal reflection ko ano sa tingin ko yung nangyayari sa uh -oh. mga nakikita ko at na-observe ba. So nang nag-ikot-ikot ka, nakita mo ngayon yung graffiti na yon, ano na film mo? <laughs> well, uh Kung titingnan po natin if it's a, if it's a work of art, yun po ang magandang pag-usapan natin. Oh, 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 if it's really oh, oh. a work of Kung art. Kung yan ba art uh, or uh, something else. Or something else, yeah. Diba? Alright. So, when we return, we'll begin our discussion on protest art. Define natin mamaya yung yes. ano, no? protest art. Pros and cons, we'll be right back. Ito ang Duterte and Judy. Ulat sa ginagawa ng presidente. December 2, Lunes, Malacanang. Pinangunahan ni Pangulong Rodrigo Roa Duterte ang Christmas tree lighting ceremony sa Kalayaan Grounds. Sinundan ito ng 44th Cabinet Meeting na ginanap sa Aguinaldo State Dining Room. December 3, Martes, Malacanang. Pinanumpa ni Pangulong Duterte ang mga bagong talagang government officials at mga newly elected officers ng League of Municipalities of the Philippines. Naging makasaysayan naman ang pagpirma ng Pangulo sa Marasakit Center Act. 
Pinagpaliban din niya ang May 2020 Barangay at Sangguniang Kabataan Elections. December 4, Miyerkules. Malacanang. Tinanggap ng Pangulo ang credentials ng mga bagong talagang ambassadors mula sa China, Denmark, Hellenic Republic, Myanmar, Sri Lanka at South Africa. We're back on pros and cons. And today's topic is the relevance of protest art. Protest art daw. Alright. So mga kababayan, to give us an idea of what protest art means, eh, tanongin natin si ano, itong observer natin si Glenn. Ano ba yung protest art? So, ang art po, if you look at it, art has many forms. Okay. Kahit ano pwedeng maging art, any any person can claim that they're an artist in their mm. own right. Okay. Um, uh, you know, uh, protest art naman, uh, isang characteristic ng protest art is to go beyond the art institutions like mm. art galleries. So, mm. they bring it to the streets. Bakit nila ginagawa ng mga, bakit ginagawa ng mga protest artists to bring it to the streets? So, that they have a wider audience. Mm -mm. So, gusto natin, gusto makita, gusto nila i-, i um, introduce yung mga sa loobin nila. Mm -hmm. So yun ang protest art. Mm -hmm. And they put it on walls. It could be it could be a performance art. Mm -hmm. It could be something na an art installation. Mm -hmm. So that's protest but, art. But but for for something to to be considered a uh, work of art, diba? Sabi mo kanina uh, uh, when we were talking po uh, of the air, uh, dapat ito it should incite critical thinking. Correct. Or either it will It should make you happy or sad, mag ano ng emotion mo eh. But but when the people say na taka, a persona non grata natin to dahil binabo yung ating ano. When where does art end? No, when it comes to the issue of vandalism. Ang pinag-usapan po natin dito is public art. Okay. So when you say public art, it has to be something acceptable to all. Okay. Ibig sabihin. Kung merong sudyante dyan on the way to school, uh -oh. makita niya itong isang so, artwork na ito. Acceptable to all. Oh, That's a keyword. May nakita oh. niyang isang artwork or isang mm -hmm. writings on the wall. Mm -hmm. Kaya niyang i-interpret that it's, the, it's a figure of a flower, it's a figure of a dog, mm -hmm. it's a figure of uh, a crook. Mm -hmm. Kaya niyang i-define yun na hindi niya kailangan uh, interpret or mm -hmm. malalim na mag-isip. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the same concept po when we see, before po, merong mga na-aresto na mga, uh -oh. na, mga smut sa oh, streets. Oh, yes, yes. And those, yung mga nag-publish po nito, they feel that this yung is... Yung mga smart po, ito yung medyo may pagkabastos na opo, tema ng mga... Mga tabloid or oh, mga, mga pornographic, pornographic, yes, materials. pornographic materials. And it's in the streets. Again, ang excuse po ng mga publication is this But, is a form of art because oh, it's nude. It's, um, oh, bakit naman yung mga Venus de Milo, it's, it's yes, nude, di ba? Yes, it's a good example. Oh. So, good point. Oh. So, pero, dapat pa natin ilagay ito sa kalsada. Dapat ba nakikita ito nung bata na papasok sa school niya? Dapat ba nakikita niya ito? So, pag public art has to be acceptable, it has to be... Um, dapat meron kasing... Ang mamiari kasi ng, ng public space ay publiko. Oo. Alright. Very good uh, explanation. Uh, I, I like that. no It should be acceptable uh, to all. Yes. Alright. But in this case, no sabihin na natin, lagos nilad na ito. Banggitin na natin yung panday sining. Yes. Bakit nag-claim nila? Ayan daw art, form of protest art, pero sabi naman ni Mayor Isko Moreno, <laughs> di ba? Hindi. Violation. Oo, oh, oh, violation yan. Kasi ilang taon nila binalak, lin linisin yung lagos nila, di ba? Tapos nung malinis na, at saka sinulatan ng ginano ng graffiti, anong klaseng expression yon? That's where yung issue ng vandalism or uh, mischief, malicious, malicious mischief come um, uh, in. Yes. No? Alright, so anong, ano, how do we uh, is it tenable? Is it defensible? Can they actually use na art expression, artistic expression mm -hmm. namin yan as uh, uh, against vandalism and malicious mischief? Um, I will just answer to yeah. Glenn. Um, yung art per se, sir, is not illegal. Okay. However, sir, kasi um, art is expression of mm. oneself. However, sir, if yung expression mo of yourself mm -hmm. um, violates the rights of others, okay. and in this case, sir, mm -hmm. yung mm -hmm. law po ng ano, city ordinance po That's ng right. Manila is mm -hmm. na-violate, mm -hmm. um, dun po magsiset in yung, yung batas natin. Um, mm -hmm. Sa vandalism po, sir, wala po tayong national law. Okay. Well, that's, that's important. Wala yes, tayong sir. national law against may, vandalism. Yes po. May 
House bill po tayo na pinapasok okay. but it's not yet a national law. However, sir, um, they violated the City Ordinance of Manila okay. against vandalism and also um, pumapasok po sila sa malicious mischief. Okay. Um, under po kasi nun, kapag um, in this case po, diniface po nila yung property mm -hmm. na minimaintain ng Manila. Okay. So parang nag sila ng destruction ng public property. Mm -hmm. So pumapasok po siya sa special cases ng malicious mischief. Mm -hmm. And sir, to add, um, yung malicious mischief po ay uh, may penalty na arrest to menor, one day to 30 days of mm -hmm. imprisonment, or aabot po siya ng prison correctional, six months to six okay. years. What if uh, ganito, sasabi nila art, Kung ang ginawa nila, ang tawag namin dyan ng araw, balatenga, yung mga pinapasak na gano'n, or may streamer na hawak, na kung ano man sabihin mo doon, kung saan ka sumapi doon, o kung ano man sinusulong ninyo, paano kung ginawa nila ay sinabit lang na gano'n yun, na yun ang nakasulat? That's a different matter, no? Siguro, yun yung sasabi ng expression. Pero yung ginawa mong mural, <laughs> yung wall, mm -hmm. no? Uh, would you agree? Na gano'n, na bawa sinabit lang nila, mayroon silang medium. Di ba? tela or uh, tarpaulin whatever so maaring yan acceptable sa po ng mga guerrilla artist mm -hmm. o yung mga Uy, may guerrilla artist ba <laughs> yeah the type of art po ito oh. yung guerrilla art sabi po nila yan ba yung mga sumusugod sa alis oo oh, yung mga gumalaban <laughs> gumalaban yung mga may, yung mga protest right, mga it's a form of protest art oh. po. Uh, sabi nila na part daw ng environment yung pag if, whenever they put mm -hmm. their their slogan or their mm -hmm. demands about or their complaints about the government or any anything na pinaglalaban nila when they put it po sa isang space mm -hmm. kasama daw po yung space na yun it's part of the artistic expression mm -hmm. yun pong sinasabi nila so hindi eh, bakit din nila pintahan ng ganun yung mga bahay nila <laughs> if that's a good form of art ay express nila sa bahay nila sulatan nila ng sulatan pero siguro po yung sa kanila para po mm -hmm. sa mga guerrilla artists sa kanila yung uh, public space it has uh -huh. to be it has to be within that context kunyari uh, they express their mm -hmm. disappointment sa Metro Manila or sa Manila uh -huh. pinili nilang lagos nila because they feel that you know hindi mm -hmm. makatotohanan itong mga bagay na ito uh -huh. they might have this different view pagdating uh -huh. doon sa nangyayari sa Maynila ngayon so yun nga yun na ganun ang mindset ng mga vandals eh aasarin mo yung <laughs> di ba kaya nga binibuisit mo yung mga nandoon na tao that's basically your intention. Yes, sir. Not, yeah. not to, not to, ako, ako, personally, I have to say this, no? Uh, I don't believe that's art. Kasi yung intention nga, eh, it's not to express, kundi to elicit reaction from Correct. the people na parang, in a way, inatak mo, no? And Secretary Joel, I just hmm. wanted to, ano po, ano po ba talaga ang purpose ng protest art? The purpose hmm. of protest art is to bring art closer to the people. Yan. Yun yung gusto nila mangyari. Hmm. But in this case, sa nakita natin sa ginawa ng mga nagprotesta sa Maynila okay. o nag-graffiti doon sa Lagos mm. Nilan, um, mas lalong nagalit yung mga tao sa kanila exactly. na hindi na nakita yung message nung, exactly. yung message na gusto nila. Valid naman yung message. There's no need for us to be angry with our protesters. Mm -hmm. Kasi karapatan yan, nasa Bill of Rights yan, mm -hmm. pero yung the fact na nagalit yung sambayanan because they feel it's no longer yeah. effective. Yes. And we have social media now. Oh, okay. Diba? Doon ka magpo-post, magra-rant ka na magra-rant doon. Walang mahuhuli sa'yo doon. Except na nag inside ka ng rebellion, diba? Or sedition, or whatsoever. So, where do we go from here? Uh, nandyan na yan. And I, and I think, na-declare silang persona non grata yes, sa Manila, sir. no? Yes, po. And when you say persona non grata at pinas ng resolution mm -hmm. ng council, as if the entire city is, is saying that. Yes, sir. So, you think, gagayahin din yan ng mga ibang cities. Do you think that's a good idea? I mean... Um, um, as of now, sir, maliban po sa Manila, mm -hmm. um, nagkakaroon na po sa whole Metro Manila ng wow. um, arrest ng mga nagbabandals. Okay. So, from January to November po, nagkaroon na po ng 1,300 operations. 1,300 operations? Yes, sir. Not so, only, baka sabihin na naman la, targeted against them. Eh. No, you sir. Know. Sa oh, yun na maganda. Yes, so, that's a welcome development. In fact, do you consider, uh, you know, discussing it with the MMDA? Ah, di ba? Metroid na. Yes, sir. Na persona nun, gratan na yung Not only yung mga aktivista, no? Yung mga pandaisining. But la, ang dami ko nakikita eh. Minsan may mga sira pang tuktok dyan na kung ano-ano lang sinusulat na ganun. Di ba? That's no longer expression kasi hindi, hindi mo ma-incomprehensible ma 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 na may mga sinusulat eh. 
So that's a drive intended for uh, alam mo, beautifying the pagandahin man yung yes, tingin protection ng ng public property. Protection ng public property. Hindi po natin kailangan magalit sa mga protest artists natin. Exactly. No? Valid po ang kanilang mga pinaglalaban. It's just that I think they need to re-evaluate yung mm -hmm. method nila of addressing the masa or the public. Mm -hmm. diba? so, that should be sensitive to the public sa no rin. Siyempre, exactly. sentiments. No? So, if defacing a wall, defacing a pristine wall, I don't think it's, uh, it's a way to, it's a proper way for you to express your saloobin or yes. yung mga, uh, mga rants mo against, against the government. Mm. Why do they do that? I mean, bakit doon pa kasi pwede may mga plakan sa mga sila na ganun? Because they want people to see it. Basically, <laughs> they want it to be visible. Basically, yung And then, it backfired on them. Sa so, nangyari po ngayon, dahil nagalit ang mga tiga Maynila, <laughs> dahil ngayon nga po ang Maynila, no? Uh -huh. Maynila, ginagawa po lahat ng bagong government ng Maynila, bagong mayor ng Maynila na like what's happening mm -hmm. to Jones Bridge, yes. Escolta is being gentrified, yeah. Intramuros is being relevant That's now, right. especially to the That's younger right. generation. Right. So, kumbaga, and here comes this group who deface a, a clean oh, wall. Eh. So, you know, talaga, it's a sad eh. thing. Ewan ko sa kanila. Anyway, <laughs> uh, pag-usapan ulit natin mamaya na mas malalim. Alam mo, pagbalik natin, basahin natin yung reaction ng ating mga kababayan, social media. Let's take a short break muna. We'll continue our discussion when pros and cons returns. Stay tuned. December 5, Webes, Legazpi City. Nagpunta si Pangulong Duterte sa Bicol upang alamin ang lawak ng pinsanang dulot ng Bagyong Tisoy. The government agencies uh, knew what to do before the typhoon hit. It's a landfall. What it did during the entire uh, crisis and after. So, uh, I am more than satisfied by the response. The question is, uh, as always, if we have this kind of uh, situation after you make the assessment, the evaluation is there, it's always money. I don't think when you know you reporting you then we will take over and I will um, advise you accordingly on Thailand and the thing of Ghana. Misamis Oriental. Nagbigay po guys si Pangulong Duterte kay Police Master Sergeant Jason Magno ang bayaning polis na nagbuwis ng buhay upang protektahan ang mga estudyante sa pagsabog ng isang granada sa loob ng kanilang paaralan. Ako po si Secretary Martin Andana at ito ang Duterte on Duty. Abangan sa susunod na linggo ang mga gagawin ng Pangulo. You're still watching pros and cons. Alam nyo, very active tayo po sa social media, no? So, before the start of the show, of the program, meron na tayong pinost doon na uh, poll question. Ang tanong sa Philippine News Agency website, no? May tuturing bang sining ang mga ipinipintang graffiti sa mga pampublikong lugar na tumutuligsa sa gobyerno? Ang nagsabi pong, oo, form of art yan. Yan po, tumataginting na 2%, 2%. At ang sinasabing hindi po art yan, 98%. Let me read a uh, couple of comments from our followers. No? Ito ang kay John Sumbiling Balangatan. Big no. no? Mga, art mga artist sila ni Satanas. Mga samahan ng terorista, mga batang bastos. Mga batang kampo ng kadiliman. Ang tunay na sining ay guguhit at ipipinta sa canvas o kaya sa blackboard. Hindi yung guguhitan ang mga pader na nililinis at ginastusan ng gobyerno. Get nyo? yon ang uh, sabi nila. Yung iba po, hindi ko mabasa kasi puro mura. <laughs> puro mura po. Ito, basahin ko na lang itong kay Jed da Proza. Sabi niya, hindi! Exclamation point. Unang-una, yung pinaglalaban ng mga gumagawa ng graffiti ay wala sa lugar at walang kwenta. Pangalawa, hindi work of art at all. Bagkus, nagpapasira lang ng maganda at malinis na tanawin. So, wala po ako. Pagpasensya na po, wala akong makita na medyo um, uh, opinion on the contrary, na medyo sumusuporta naman na art yun. But, uh, yun na nga. Babalik tayo doon sa issue kanina na sinabi mo, yung, 
yung uh, kung hindi acceptable sa madla yan, nagalit pa yung mga tao, so hindi siya may tuturing na art. And it's uh, short of saying na yung 98% na yon, di ba? Ay, ay naniniwala na tama yung ginawang pagkakaso. Yes. Paghahabol. Ilan major ngayon ulit? Yung all tatlo over? Po, yung tatlo I've, for this particular, ano? Yes, but sir. all over? 1,300. 1,300. Yes, sir. Arrests. Within Metro Manila. Within sir. Metro Manila. Pero hindi po ito. Ito, babago yun. So, bagong data sa akin yun. No? May 1,300 na gumagawa ng ganun na yes, graffiti, mga vandals, yes, vandalism, na naaresto, na nahinuli. Yes, no? So, alright. So, how do you uh, plan to continue this campaign now? I mean, can we actually stop them from doing this? Um, sa part po ng PNP, mm -hmm. we will intensify uh -oh. um, the drive against vandalism kasi nga po um, maliban po sa pronouncement ni mm -hmm. Presidente, mm -hmm. um, ni-remind na din po kami ni DILG. Okay, ni Secretary so, Anyo. Yes po, sir. Oh, so, na talagang um, merong, hindi naman yung crackdown, ano? It's not, uh, can we call it, oh, no, it's not a crackdown, it's a campaign. But intensification, no, sir. Intensify the campaign, actually, to to prevent vandalism. Yes, sir. No? All right, all right. So, ngayon, pagka umikot ka na, ano, Glenn, sa buong Metro Manila, at uh, kapag may nakita ka pang ganyan na graffiti at binlag mo, so, <laughs> meron ng, <laughs> di ba, meron ng lead ang mga um, law enforcers natin, no? Kung sino yung mga gumawa niya at magkakaroon ng mga paghuhuli, no? Pagpaparusa. But, ikaw, uh, are you in favor of, yun nga, hinuli na, kinasuhan, no? For, for those particular people na sinasabing eh, protest art yan, eh. How do you feel about it? Anything that's defacing po, ang um, defacing ang ating uh, public space, mm -hmm. I think uh, hindi dapat siya itolerate. Mm -hmm. Para sa akin, hindi siya dapat itolerate. For one, po, lagay po natin yung sarili natin dun sa shoes na mga naglilinis nitong mga to. Oh, okay. How much difficult, anong effort ang kailangan gawin ng mga metro mm -hmm. cleaners yes. para tanggalin itong mga to? Di ba sila natutuwa? Uy, may linisin kami ulit bukas. <laughs> yun, so yun nga po, di ba? Parang, parang kung lalagay po natin doon. At saka, meron po tayo, ang objective naman po talaga natin is to educate yung uh -oh. public. Uh -oh. So if we are the if we are protest artist, tapos tayo mismo yung number one na nagva-violate, uh -oh. the medium is the message eh. Kung tayo mismo yung nagva-violate uh -oh. ng ating pinaglalaban, uh -oh. uh, violator tayo ng mga provisions ng government or yung mga, mm -hmm. you know, yung mga... Uh, circular, they call mm -hmm. it circular. Yes, ordinance. So, ordinance, yeah, yung ordinance. So, ano po tayo doon? So, parang oh. there's no uh, credibility to what we're doing kasi mm -hmm. nga, tayo mismo yung violators. Binaviolate eh. mo mismo. It's like, so how, how are they supposed to do that? I mean, saan nila dapat ginagawa yan? Saan sila susulat ng gravity? Or, tama ba na sabihin na meron silang freedom wall? Doon nila kayo magsulat na magsulat? We've heard about freedom wall. Actually, oh. If you go to BGC, meron pong mga meron pong mga establishments niya uh -oh. that encourage artists to express themselves. Yan. Pagandahin yung uh -oh. express yung art nila doon. Siguro sa Metro Manila, maybe we can sa Intramuros mismo may mga graffiti style na ikita doon ngayon. Okay. Eh. May mga hmm. uh, ephemeral art, yung mga pansamantala lang, tapos eventually tatakpan din nila ng pintura. So, para sa akin po ano siya? Uh, pwede namang magpaalam eh. Uh -oh. Pwede naman itanong kung pwede ba kaming mag-express ng art namin dyan. Okay. Pag pinayagan, I think that's already a go signal for them to, yes, to do, to, that. To do it. No, like, wag lang sa lagos nila. At saka siguro, siguro po, ano, maganda rin yung i-consider po natin yung tasteful naman po yung ilalagay. Mm -hmm. uh, well, when you say tasteful art, di ba? Yung sabi ko nga po kanina, uh -oh. san, san, something that's acceptable to all, hindi naman yung parang recklessly spray-painted so, lang. So, pagka ang sinulat ay, ano yun? Yung, ano yung nakasulat doon? Makatiran ang paghihimagsik. <laughs> yun, paghihimagsik. That's basically insurrection, rebellion. Yes, no? Revolution pala. Is that uh, an acceptable form of protest? Art? Sa mga artists po, maganda itanong yan. No? Sa mga artists, <laughs> mga oh, protest oh. artists natin, maganda itanong yan. I don't think I'm I'm the right person to answer oh, oh. that. Bilang observer po, uh, if it's inciting rebellion or is it oh, oh. Uh, against the... That will become yeah? uh, law enforcement oh, oh. matter na already. Yes, yes. Hanggang saan nila pwedeng uh, isulat? Ano ba yun? Kasi, baba, uh, himag-himagsik, 
mali sa revolusyon, is that uh, inciting to rebellion already? Um, And it's against the law. Yes po sir. Aside po sa pag-violate ng city ordinance, mm -hmm. um, that is inciting. And uh, punishable under the re yes, revised sir. penal code. No? So, yung mga nag incite na ganyan, ano ang mga parusa dyan? Para alam po nila. Um, bali po, um, yung nangyari ngayon, no. um, sa revised penal code po, article 3 to 8, if hindi okay. ako nagkakamali, yun po yung malicious mischief. Okay. But, um, mas broader po kasi yung inciting to rebellion. Mas okay. madami po siyang elements ah, na kailangan ma okay. So, pag ganun po, dito muna po siya papasok sa malicious mischief. Malicious siya. mischief siya muna. Yes, sir. Hanggang saan? Kung, kung ako ay mag-express, ano ang pwede kong isulat doon na, well, uh, notwithstanding the vandalism of a clean wall, di ba? Pero hanggang saan yung expression na sinasabi? Wala namang limit. Um, as long as hindi po provoke yung public mm -mm. to go to against, rise against the, the government. government. I see. So that's rebellion. Alright. Anyway, medyo, medyo kapos po tayo sa oras but I, I think na pag-usapan naman natin lengthily and um, uh, mas malalim yung issue. No? Uh, but, but before I, I uh, let them go, mga kababayan, siguro kunin ko muna yung kanilang ano, mga final words no? in yung... Uh, Kasama na rin ang Christmas messages sa ating mga tagapanood, no, here and abroad. This time, unahin ko muna yung nasa kanan ko. Yes, sir. No. Alright, so Glenn, your, ikaw muna, your uh, message sa ating mga kababayan. Okay, so para po sa public, we don't have, again, we don't have to be angry with our protest artists. Mm -hmm. Meron po silang valid na pinaglalaban. Gusto po natin i-encourage sila, gusto po natin suportahan sila. Mm -hmm. uh, kasi nasa karapatan naman po natin ito. Um, For the visual artists or the pro, for the protest artists, I think it's about time that we think of thinking, try to think out of the box in terms of the kind of protest that we will deliver in public. Um, yung graffiti po, panahon pa ng Romano, ginawa na nila yan. Ginawa rin po ni Bonifacio yan sa cave ng Montalban. Ng Montalban. Um, it's about time po na siguro we think of other ways and how we can invite the public to be critical about what we're posting. Alright, baka maglagay na lang, magdala na lang kayo ng LED screens. <laughs> anyway, thank you, Glenn. Thank you. Uh, Major Brits, your yes, uh, message po sa ating mga kababayan. Um, from Team NCRPO po, um, let us remind everyone, especially our youth, na in exercising their rights and um, in expressing themselves, let us all be mindful na may karapatan din po yung iba and Um, may existing laws and regulations na pwedeng mag-limit sa expression ng rights natin ngayon. And um, Merry Christmas po. Yun, <laughs> na 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 ko na medyo. So, yun po. Before we end, I'd like to greet everyone a very Merry Christmas. Tingin nyo naman kulay ko, Paskong Pasko. <laughs> and uh, pagpalain po kayo ng uh, ating may kapal ni Allah, ang uh, at, ating uh, butihing Diyos. Maging safe at uh, truly maligaya ang ating pong kapaskuhan. So there you have it folks, straight from the shoulder and right on the money. Tune in next week as we tackle another issue of national interest. For your comments, suggestions, and questions, visit our Facebook page and the PNA website. You may be for or against, you may agree or disagree, but in the end, we're all Filipinos working towards the same goals. Will you choose what's right or will you stay on your side of the truth? Once again, this is Philippine News Agency Supervising Undersecretary Joel C. Eggo. Thank you and see you on the next episode of Pros and Cons.